I'd love to hear just a couple main key pieces of advice you would give to any woman looking to be in a place you're at one day. If there was any advice that I would give to somebody wanting to, to be in, you know, within sports or in our position, it's just dig, dig in um, and come to the day, you know, with an, an openness and an enthusiasm um, that, to use Robin's words, like helps inspire others. I think we are mm -hmm. lifted by one another when we see people doing really great work. I, I don't think I could have added <laughs> anything really to that. I was going to, you know, say be aware of your surroundings, know when your opportunities are right, be kind to people, mm -hmm. and, you know, you'll get it back tenfold. Mm. And, you know, the opportunities are probably there. And just approach them professionally, and it's for you. You're the one that's going to gain by it. So, mm. so my advice for um, young people that want to get in the industry, and it's not specific to women. It's the same advice as I give to, to young men. And it's the advice that I actually give to, you know, 12 year olds, and it's the advice that I give to 50 year olds who, uh, you know, how do I be better? And that is your job, your priority in life is to create relationships. The most important thing that you can do to life, in life is be kind to others, make an impression on them, learn what matters to them, and create a relationship. Because who knows, you know, 10, 15 years later when you're looking for something and you've created a relationship with someone, they could be your advocate. They could be the person that helps you get there. Uh, and then, and vice versa. So that's, that's really the advice I give to everyone. And I think it's really applicable to young women that want to get into this industry. Um, and then, you know, I just feel like you don't have to be in sports today when you graduate college or you graduate graduate school, you can go and get a lot of experience that ultimately can be valuable uh, to a sports role. Um, but it just, I think that the reason why Jonathan, who I interviewed with the first time and then it was, you know, six days and 13 hours of interviews that, you know, I got to meet more people. But what he saw in me was a skill set and a set of experience that he said to himself, that could actually be valuable. That could actually help her do things. It's not the same old, same old.